Hey everybody, long time no see. I know it's been forever and I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to be making a vlog about everything that's been going on with me lately um, since October. <laughs> I have been extremely busy and I hope you can understand. <clears throat> but, um, and I'm a little sick right now. Uh... <laughs> But, um, I am here with a January favorites video. I hope you don't mind. And, uh, it's not going to be very long because I haven't really been wearing makeup this month. Um, because I just, I've been so busy. I don't know. <laughs> but, um, I still wear makeup once in a while. And I will show you the things I've been loving this month. It really won't take long. So, um, bear with me. But, I figured since... We are starting the new year of 2011. Uh, I might as well start fresh and start from January and do a January favorite video. So, um, first I'll talk about uh, a few of the products. Uh, this is the Urban Decay Primer Potion in the tube. That's for your eyes. And um, I really like it. It still gives me a little bit of creasing right here on the inner corner where my little fold is. Um, so it's not perfect for me, but then I have extremely, extremely oily lids, and I often need to double up on bases, like for example, if I do the Urban Decay Primer Potion, I also have to put some kind of other base on, like, um, I like Soft Ochre Paint Pot a lot, um, just as a neutral base, or I also really like using this Hip Cream Shadow Paint as a base. This works well on its own, even for me, but, um, together I have no creasing at all, um, and I'm still not sure if I have any creasing when I pair these two together. But if it's just this, I crease a little. If it's just this, I crease a lot, if that makes any sense. So, um, yes, I like to do a combination, but I do like the Urban Decay Primer Potion a lot. And um, I just got it in late November, I believe. Yes, so I really do like this product. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat is all gross and I sound like a man. Um, anyway, the next thing I like is this. This is the Cover FX. I believe it's actually a foundation. It's a cream product, but I use it as a concealer. Um, it matches my shade or my, my skin tone pretty well. It's really fair and I'm fair and I'm kind of yellow so you can kind of see that. So I just like to, you know, warm it up in that little dent right there and then I just pat it on my under eye area and um, it also works well for any acne that I have, which I haven't had any lately, I'll talk about it later. Um, so, uh, I really do like this product. It's a little thick and it takes a while to warm up, but the coverage is very good, even though it creases a little on the under eyes. I like it. Um, and then the powder I've been using to set my makeup has been this one right here. This is the True Minerals, or yeah, I believe it's called True Cosmetics. But you can buy these at specialty spas and salons and things like that. I found about I found out about it in high school, and I bought it about a year and a half ago. And I didn't really like it for a while, and then I've been liking it again. And it's pretty much my perfect shade. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions about this, just let me know, and I can try to answer them for you. Um, for blush, I've been really leaning towards kind of the not really a peachy pink, more like a plummy pink shade. It's not like, sorry, I have to use the ultimate comparison. Uh, this is NARS Orgasm, which is more of a peachy pink. So this one is a little bit deeper and cooler tone. And I find that I reach for this a lot more in the winter time and when it's cold. And I'm actually wearing it right now, if you can even tell. <clears throat> so there's that. And then um, for my eye makeup, since I haven't been really wearing much lately, I'm not even wearing eyeliner. All I do is I take a really dark brown eyeshadow. For example, this is from the Cult of Cherry Quad, uh, or the Tempting Quad from the Cult of Cherry Collection. This one is called um, Dark Edge Eyeshadow. And I'll just take a brush like this one, like a small, this is the e.l.f. Um, lip brush, I believe. And I'll just kind of line my eyes with it, if you can tell. Actually, today I used this really dark brown from the Bobbi Brown, oh hello, the Bobbi Brown um, Shimmering Nudes palette. I just used this darkest brown, which is an almost black, and I just did that. 
And that way it's not as harsh, but at the same time my eyes are more defined when I do that. And um, also, if you're wondering, I'm wearing rice paper on my lid. If I can find it. Oops, that's not it. <laughs> rice paper on my lid. And then um, I took this shimmery white eyeshadow from Sephora. It came with a birthday set. And I just tapped it right on the inner corners of my eyes. And that's all I'm wearing uh, besides a base. So um, though that's pretty much what I've been going for whenever I wear makeup. So I guess those would be my favorites too. Um, but I kind of already started to segue into brushes. I've been really liking this blending brush. This is can't talk. This is the Sigma brush, and it's very, very dense and thick, much thicker than the Mac 224. Um, I don't know what the new numbers are. I'm not even gonna try to guess, but mine is called the SS 224, and I use that for my um, setting powder. This one, I use that underneath or around my nose. And also, I'll use that as eyeshadow or to blend out the um, crease color when I do wear more makeup. So I really like this brush. I love how dense it is. I actually prefer this over the MAC one. And I still need to review these brushes. But anyway, that one, and I really like this one from e.l.f. The $1... Oh, this is the concealer brush. I'm sorry. So I do like this one for the um, detail work and to use it as a eyeshadow lining brush. <clears throat> so there's that. Those are pretty much all of my monthly favorites. And when I do wear foundation, which I haven't since pretty much the beginning of January, but I'll reach for this one, which I just got um, a month or two ago. This is the Clinique um, Acne Solutions Liquid Makeup, as if you couldn't tell. And it is in the shade number two, Fresh Ivory. No, you can't see that. But I do like this one, and it doesn't break me out. The coverage is pretty good. Uh, it's buildable, medium coverage. So, good one. Um, so those were all the makeup products. Really quickly, I wanted to talk about nails because, as you can't, you can't really tell right now, but I just took off all my nail polish today, but I've been wearing a lot of nail polish again lately. Um, the ones I wore this month that I really liked were, sorry, the colors are kind of muddled. Um, this one right here, which is OPI's uh, Jade is the New Black from the Hong Kong collection of last spring. I still love this one, absolutely love it. It's just a pretty green. Um, and then the two I just got that I'm really, really, really into, this one I just wore and I just took it off today. This is the new OPI Katy Perry collection nail polish in Teenage Dream. It's just a pink holographic, or it, I should say it has rainbow holographic glitter, but it's on top of a pink glitter base if that makes any sense whatsoever. It's just gorgeous. I really love this color. And then the other one I got was this one, which is Essie's Lilacism. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but it's Lilacism. <laughs> and it's just a really, really light, light pale purple. And I've been looking for this color, I can't tell you how long, like over a year, maybe two years. And I have a purple, but it's a darker purple, which isn't anything like this purple. I'll have to show you the purple I have. <clears throat> And I'm sorry that my throat is so sucky. And I'm wearing sweats because it's really cold outside. But anyway, this is the purple I own, um, or I have been owning for the last year. And this one is called Do You Lilac It? Get it? Like, do you like it? But do you lilac it? Anyway, and that's in comparison to this one. And as you can see, this one's way lighter than this one. And I've been looking for this one more than this one. But I got this one because I was settling. Because I couldn't find this one. So, if that makes any sense to you guys. Sounds like I'm speaking a different language, doesn't it? But um, I'm going to do some nail tutorials and stuff because I've been wanting to uh, play around with my Conad again and play around with just um, nail art in general. Uh, I'll, I'll do a vlog, like I said, and I'll talk more about that. Um, but anyway, the last things I wanted to show you guys in my monthly favorites are this hat, <laughs> which I'm in love with, and a pair of shoes. And um, this hat was on clearance, $10, at the store called Gilly Hicks. And um, it has a little puff ball in the back. I don't know if you can really see anything, but it's just one of those really big oversized poofy hats or beanies, and I'm obsessed. I absolutely love this hat, and I've gotten so many compliments on it whenever I wear it. And it's just so warm, and mm, I don't know. I love this hat. Um, <laughs> and especially since uh, in Texas the weather really, really dropped this week, I've been wearing it literally every day. It's so comfortable. <laughs> And, uh, so yeah, the last thing I wanted to talk about are these babies, I guess. 
Um, I got these um, a week or two ago. I don't even remember anymore. And these are from the store called Aldo. This is my first, um, I guess I would call it nice shoe purchase. Because I usually buy all of my shoes at Target or Kmart or... Not Kmart. Why am I saying Kmart? Target or Ross, Marshalls. Actually, I don't have any shoes from Marshalls. Um, just wherever I can find them on a really, really good deal, I buy them. But these I have been eyeing for months and months and months. Ever since last year, I've been wanting these shoes. They're five inches tall. Five and a half, actually. Um, the uh, platform is an inch and a half tall. Um, and, uh, yeah, I can't find anywhere... I couldn't find anywhere that sold shoes like these except for at Aldo. And I finally caved in and I bought them. And I really, really like them. I haven't been able to wear them out yet. One, because I'm breaking them in. Two, because I have to stretch them out. And three, I don't have anywhere to wear them yet. But I absolutely freaking love these shoes. They're so beautiful. Oh, I can't wait to wear them. Um, actually, I have, uh, some, I have something planned on Valentine's Day that I'm going to wear them too. Uh, but I'm not positive that that's going to happen or not. <laughs> we'll see. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, like I was saying, um, expect a uh, really long vlog from me explaining everything. I have a lot to talk about with you guys. And, um, yes, I hope you all are doing well. I hope you all have a great day. And, yeah, I'll talk to you later. Bye.